What's up guys and welcome to the next episode of the crack -a pack series today opening up a brand new pack for us on this channel uh, Chronicles, which is actually a very interesting set because a lot of people would say this ruined magic uh, at one point in time and I can't say I disagree uh, but nowadays, unfortunately, there's not too much in this set. There are a few decent cards. Blood Moon sitting at the very top, right around $25, $26. Uh, there's also Concordant Crossroads, which is also quite good, right around uh, $15. And then City of Brass, uh, which is just a fantastic land. Um, unfortunately, I can't determine whether I will know where the rare is or not, so I apologize. Um, if you don't know, by the way, the reason that this kind of ruined magic for a lot of people, uh, is it tanked value for a lot of cards. This was entirely a reprint set, so uh, basically what they did is they stuck a bunch of really, really good cards in a set and reprinted it like they do nowadays quite a lot, uh, but a lot of the collectors found that to be really hurtful for their collection value. So uh, they, it caused a lot of issues. It basically spurred the reserve list and a lot of other things, so that's basically the story behind this. Uh, we might do a full video on that at some point just because it is actually kind of interesting. Uh, but there's already plenty of videos out there. I would say go ahead and watch those. Again though, I don't know where the rare is in this, so I apologize if I miss it. But let's see what we get. Uh, we do have an Enchantment Alteration. A Shimian Night Stalker. Oops. Okay, well there's our rare. Concordant Crossroads. Uh, this is very, very good, so we'll we'll come back to that. Uh, Wall of Vapor, Feldon's Cane, uh, Civitry Scarzum. This is a legend, by the way. I don't actually know if, uh, because it's a legend, it's definitely a rare or not. Uh, I guess it's basically just a 6-4 for 7, so it's not amazing, but we'll see. Uh, Bograts, Urza's Tower, the Tron lands are in here, which is fantastic. Uh, Transmutation. There's this power plant, uh, Repentant Blacksmith, and a Wall of Heat. So, uh, for those of you that do not know, Concordant Crossroads is not only a beautiful card, but it is actually fantastic. It's an enchant world, uh, which basically is just an enchantment. Uh, for one green that says, creatures can attack or use abilities that include tapping them and the activation cost as soon as they come into play on their controller's side. <coughs> Excuse me. So... Basically, it gives haste to all creatures for one green, uh, which I think is really interesting because it's not necessarily uh, on theme for green to give all creatures haste, but uh, it is a really, really powerful effect, and I think the majority of decks that see play with this uh, are in Commander, I'm assuming. Uh, unfortunately, I've never played with this card, so I don't know, to be honest, but it is super, super powerful, very, very cool, and just great looking, obviously. So. Really not a bad pack. Uh, we also got two of the uh, Tron lands, which is great. Um, obviously, white border. Some people don't like that, but I happen to. So happy to see this. Uh, hopefully, we get a couple more Chronicles packs, and maybe we can pull that Blood Moon. But until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Uh, if you would like to, go ahead and subscribe, and you can get notifications about all of our content, not just these, but our card spotlight videos, as well as our podcasts. So a lot of content coming at you every single week. Uh, we hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.